Hey guys, this is Steve Huff from stevehuffphoto.com and today I want to look at a lens from Voigtlander which is beautiful. I recently discovered the beauty of this lens shooting it on a Leica SL, even a Sony a7R 3 This is the Nocton 58-142 and let's take a look at the lens as well as some images shot with the lens. This is a Nocton from Voigtlander, 58mm f1.4 um, beautiful lens. This is version 2. It's a Nikon mount lens, but as many of you know, you can take lenses like this and mount them onto mirrorless cameras from Sony, Fuji, Leica, um, even Olympus. But this is a full frame lens, so therefore it will give you its most character. It will give you the full character when used on a full frame sensor camera. To me, the best manual focus camera on the market, mirrorless camera on the market is the Leica SL due to its beautiful EVF and ease of manual focus. This lens is made in Japan, comes in at $599 and to me it's one of the biggest bang for the bucks out there if you're looking for a fast 50-ish. Being 58 millimeters, it is not to be confused with this lens, the Noct Nikkor, which is by Nikon, 58 millimeter, but the Noct Nikkor is f1.2. It's a faster lens. It has a hand ground element in the front. Um, you know, not made by machines, made by man back in the day. And this lens fetches anywhere from $3,000 to $5,000 on eBay. So how will the Voigtlander stack up to something like that at $599? I don't know because I never had the Noct Nikkor. But let's take a look at some images with the Voigtlander. Shooting this in ultra low light, this was around ISO 12,500 on the Leica SL with the 58 wide open at f1.4. I never use noise reduction when I shoot in these situations and I turn off all noise reduction in camera. So this is what you see just converted to black and white. Here's one that shows the three dimensionality of this lens on the SL. The dog here was in focus, of course. I focused on the dog's face, but look at the color. Look at the contrast. Look at that depth. This is straight out of camera on the Leica SL. Beautiful rendering. $600 lens made in Japan. Feels like a million bucks. Feels just as good as any lens made by Leica uh, or the old school Nikons. Um, here's one that shows a 100% crop. Kind of hard to tell on YouTube due to the compression, but you can see this photo uh, in full size at stevehuffphoto.com. That's wide open. Uh, F14, I mislabeled that F12. I was dreaming of the Noct Nikkor, I guess. Here's Debbie and her daughter Allison. We were going out to eat, and I had the lens, and even from a distance, look at how the subject sticks out from the background. And the bouquet of this lens is actually very nice. It kind of gives you a modern day rendering with contrast, color, and sharpness, um, and it gives you a little bit of that soap bubble bouquet of the past. I love it. Not everybody's going to love that rendering, but I think it's beautiful. And I've shot lenses in the 50 millimeter range that cost anywhere from 150 all the way up to $11,000. So at $599 for this 5814 from Voigtlander that can be used on a Sony body, a Nikon body, of course. A Leica SL, that is a steal at $599, folks. This is not a soft, glowy lens. This has great color, great contrast, um, right out of the camera. And I will show you a couple of comparison shots uh, shot on the SL and a Sony a7R 3 at the end of this video. Here's one shot at night. Now, in person, this was very dark. We could barely see it. But shot wide open at f1.4 on the Voigtlander. It brightens up the scene, so it is a light-sucking type of lens. Um, I've shot this scene before with the Hasselblad X1D, actually. Here's one inside of a music club late at night, and it's very dark in there. And I just saw a mirror, so I figured, oh, I'll shoot this and uh, see how noisy it is. Not only did the SL keep the color and uh, tone of the image, uh, the noise isn't so bad for a 10,000 or so ISO image. Here's a performance shot under extreme red lights. Uh, this is, um, again, wide open. I shot this lens wide open every time I shot with it because these kind of lenses are meant to be used wide open. They're optimized for wide open shooting. This has that Nocton designation, which means 
King of the night, my friends, this is to be used at night. Of course, you can use it during the day as well, but it's, it's specialized. It's made for this kind of work. The deepest, um, you know, darkest little places you can find. And this is one of them, the Lost Leaf in Phoenix, Arizona, one of my favorite hangouts. Shooting in this really low light is challenging, and this lens was up to the task. Um, here, I believe this was ISO 12,500. If I remember correctly, you can see the grain, but the grain is actually quite nice, um, especially with black and white. It kind of gives it that old school kind of vibe. But again, this lens was so easy to focus on the Leica SL due to that huge EVF and that beautiful joystick that you just click that's right by your thumb and it magnifies instantly. You could critically nail focus because that EVF is still today, three years after the camera has been released, the clearest, biggest, best viewfinder, electronic viewfinder I have ever used or seen. Um, so yeah, this is still shooting in these low light scenarios. I was shooting this music uh, artist here. Um, it was a pretty fun night, a pretty fun time, and the SL and the Nocton really, really came through. And it makes me really want to try the Noct Nikkor at f1.2, uh, and it has a little bit, you know, a mystique about it. It's a highly regarded lens. It's legendary. A lot of collectors uh, own it, unfortunately, which drives up the price. But I may get my hands on one, and if I do, I will do a side-by-side -side in this music club with both lenses. Here's one. This is pretty much right out of the camera. This is what it looks like in person because they have a red light shining on the artist. So it's either all red or black and white. But I love the bouquet. It's smooth. It's silky. And I've never seen a $599 manual focus old school type of lens render with such beauty. Um, again, this is a new lens sold by Voigtlander, but it has a mix of modern and vintage look at this look at the way her face is drawn here nice and soft but smooth the violins in sharp focus the background is melted away this is an unbelievable lens on the leica sl but what about sony shooters let's do a really quick comparison here um, first i shot this next image with the sl in my backyard uh, wide open at f14 uh, with the 58 millimeter nocton from voigtlander again this is a nikon mount lens I mounted it to the SL via a $13 adapter. Details are at stifafoto.com. Um, so this is with the SL, looks really good, minimal vignetting. And here is with the Sony, what happened? The vignetting got really bad. It just doesn't look as nice. The only thing you can see over the SL here is a little bit more dynamic range, but the SL image is far superior with way less vi vignetting. I don't understand. But let's do one more shot. I took one more shot as a bokeh torture test. This is with the SL. You can see this is worst case scenario for your shallow depth of field, your bokeh, bokeh, however you want to say it. And it looks really good. It's not busy. It's not full of lines. It's not swirly. It just looks ooey gooey and like it melted. This is with the SL. Now let's take a look at the Sony shot with the same lens. The color's off. There's some vignetting. And even the bokeh looks a little different. So this lens I have found is amazing on the Leica SL, a $13 adapter. This, this lens with adapter will cost you $615, $612, whatever, um, shipped to you. Um, I bought mine from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to read more about it. I'll also put a link to my review at stevehuffphoto.com, which is, I think, 4,500 words. Um, beautiful lens, highly recommend it, especially if you have a Leica SL. It's even easier to focus on an SL than something like a Nikon D800. It's amazing, but I explain all at my website if you want to give it a look. This is Steve from stevehuffphoto.com. If you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time.